I grown up with horses. I love horses. We introduced the original Horse Protection Act in 1968. Didn't get it through. In 1969 and finally 1970, we were able to get the Horse Protection Act passed. And every pony club member in this country, every trail rider, every quarter horse advocate, everybody that's ever gone into a horse show or ever had a huff fox hunter, everybody ought to be in this because the bestiality and cruelty of this practice has nothing to do with horse shows or anything else. It's purely money, money and trophies, and they know how to spend it. They know how to get congressmen and senators elected who will block the enforcement of the Old Horse Protection Act. Blackburn, well, it's tragic that the amount of money that's poured into the congressional races from the soarers, the owners, and the trainers can influence one or two key members of the Congress to block this. Do you think Senator McConnell's blocking the bill from reaching the floor? If the bill is not permitted to vote, with 56 senators co-sponsoring it, it's because it's been blocked. This has been an incredible opportunity to represent people that have asked us to represent them here from Alabama to Montana to Colorado to Florida and on and on. There's people everywhere that couldn't attend and so we're here for them to explain to the public exactly how important this is to us. Well, it's so important for every young person in the country who has a pony, who ever been on a trail ride, uh, ever ridden in a circle, ever been a horse show, for every quarter horse owner in this country. We've got to stop this bestiality and cruelty. It's unbelievable what they do to these poor horses. Unbelievable. They do a bastardized gait. They cripple a horse for their life. It's just despicable. And I, th I really agree with Senator Tidings. The thing is that this is, this is an American breed. This is an all-American breed, similar to the quarter horse, but it, it has a unique quality about it. It's this beautiful gait and this kind, amazing temperament that you can bring six beautiful horses into the center of Washington, D.C., and not one of them is concerned or worried. They're happy to be here with their owners and their riders. That's a quality we love. That's also the quality that allows people to abuse them. They tolerate it. And we're so, so impressed with the support that we've had here today from all the people across the country who are willing to show their horses and their support to this cause. Thank, Thank you, Senator you, Thank you, dear. And we're here because we want to stop this. Now, this is a good piece of legislation because we have hundreds of organizations supporting us. We have the American Horse Council. We have almost every veterinary group in the country, All right. national and statewide. Uh, we have Tennessee walking horse groups from around the country supporting the legislation. And so I think what reflects that this is a good bill is we are now over 293 co-sponsors in the House of Representatives. We have 56 United States Senators that support this bill. The Department of Agriculture itself that has the responsibility to do it says we need help.